Revolt of the Tartars, or Flight of the Kalmuk Khan, by Thomas de Quincey is a gripping narrative that delves into the complexities of power, rebellion, and human nature. Through vivid imagery and evocative language, de Quincey transports the reader to the heart of the Kalmuk Khanate, where the fragile balance of authority is shattered by the sudden uprising of the Tartar people. The narrative opens with a description of the vast and desolate landscape inhabited by the Kalmuk Khan and his subjects. De Quincey's use of rich, descriptive language creates a sense of isolation and foreboding, setting the stage for the tumultuous events that are about to unfold. The Khan is portrayed as a powerful but ultimately flawed leader, whose authority is challenged by the simmering discontent of his people. As the revolt begins, de Quincey masterfully captures the chaos and confusion that engulf the Khanate. The suddenness and ferocity of the Tartar uprising are conveyed through vivid descriptions of violence and destruction. The once mighty Khan is reduced to a desperate fugitive, fleeing for his life amidst the carnage unleashed by his own subjects. Amidst the chaos, de Quincey explores the complex motivations driving both the rebels and their erstwhile ruler. The Tartars are portrayed as a downtrodden people, driven to rebellion by years of oppression and injustice. Yet, even as they rise up against their oppressors, they are plagued by internal divisions and conflicts, underscoring the complexities of power and authority. Similarly, the Khan is depicted as a tragic figure, torn between his desire for power and his fear of losing it. His attempts to quell the rebellion are marked by moments of both ruthlessness and desperation, as he struggles to maintain control in the face of overwhelming odds. Ultimately, however, he is betrayed by those closest to him, leading to his ignominious downfall. Throughout the narrative, de Quincey explores themes of betrayal, loyalty, and the corrupting influence of power. The Khan's betrayal at the hands of his own subjects serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of authority, while also highlighting the moral ambiguity inherent in the exercise of power. Similarly, the loyalty of the Khan's followers is tested and found wanting, as self-interest and opportunism ultimately triumph over allegiance to their leader. In the aftermath of the revolt, de Quincey paints a haunting portrait of a once great empire brought to its knees by internal strife and external enemies. The Khanate lies in ruins, its cities sacked and its people scattered to the winds. Yet, amidst the devastation, there is also a glimmer of hope, as the survivors begin to rebuild their shattered lives and forge a new destiny for themselves. In conclusion, Revolt of the Tartars or, Flight of the Kalmuk Khan, is a powerful exploration of power, rebellion, and the human condition. Through his masterful use of language and imagery, Thomas de Quincey brings to life a world torn apart by violence and upheaval, while also offering insights into the timeless struggles that define the human experience.